Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Track Science TV. My name is Oni Rees. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. Now let's take a moment to learn something new with a brain break. Thank you. Next. My name is Destiny Mata. I'm in the eighth grade, and today I'm gonna be singing "Good for You." Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good for you, you happy and healthy. Not me, if you ever care to ask. Good for you, you're doing great out there without me, baby. Like a day so see your path. Okay, well, um, thank you for auditioning. But moving forward, I want you to try and focus on enunciating your words, projecting, and please do your best to stay in the same key. Okay. I knew I should have never came to this audition. Here Destiny started singing and Miss Hart gave her some pointers on her singing, but instead of taking her advice, Destiny had a fixed mindset and storms out of the room. Let's try that again. Thank you. Next. My name is Destiny Mata. I'm in the eighth grade and today I'm gonna to be singing good for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good for you, you love healthy, Nabi. If you have a game to have. Good for you, you're doing great out there without me, baby. Like a day tells you about. Okay, thank you for auditioning. Um, but next time, please uh, do your best to stay within the key. And you want to enunciate your words. I'm not really understanding you. And you want to try and stay out of that nasal path and get it to your head. Thanks for your critiques, Miss Hart. I'll definitely use them to try and better myself. No problem. Now here, instead of storming out the class, Destiny took Miss Hart's advice. So you see, instead of having a fixed mindset that you're being criticized, have a growth mindset to learn and improve by using advice. It's a great idea to have a growth mindset. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Jasmine, are you ready for today's sports game? Yep, I have a tactic ready for the game. That's good to know that you have a plan of action ready. We should discuss the tactic with the rest of the team. That's a great idea. I hope they like it. I'm sure they will. If we all follow the strategy, we for sure will win. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Destiny. Thank you, Melanie. Hi, Patriots. Today's history is about the first original Adams Family sitcom. This comedy made its first appearance on ABC on October 18, 1964. This classic version of The Addams Family was filmed in black and white and is perhaps best remembered for the catchy theme tune and associated finger clicks. The Addams Family originally appeared in a comic panel series in 1938. You may also recognize this name from the 2019 movie remake called The Addams Family. Which version do you prefer? I definitely like the original version better. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch is chicken and cheese quesadilla, ham and cheese sandwich, corn, pineapple, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and always remember to bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Aiden. Sounds tasty. Super Patriots, this sectional software challenge for all grades ends this Thursday. Let's keep passing those lessons to complete this challenge. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Sports fans, our boys flag football team has a home game against SLAM. This game will be at 4 p.m. at Brian Piccolo. Let's go Patriots!
It's the final call for girls basketball tryouts is today from 3.30 to 5 p.m. If you're trying out, make sure to have your grade check sheet completed and physical packet. Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board contest is ending soon. Let's finish up those boards. The winner will be announced on October 20th and will win a special prize. Students, our candy drive ends on October 20th. Please keep bringing in bags of wrapped candy and make sure to bring a receipt for volunteer hours. Students in class with the most candy donated will win pizza and ice cream party. And the teacher on the class with the most candy donated will win lunch on admin and a free planning period. The fall festival is coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Bugs. Make sure to buy your tickets now. Can't wait to see all your spooky outfits. My friends are so excited to receive their bootgrams. I've already bought mine, so make sure to buy yours before October 26th to surprise your friends. The Hispanic Heritage Show is tomorrow, Wednesday, October 19th. I'm so excited to take this journey to Encanto. Doors will open at 5.30 p.m. and tickets will be $5 cash per person at the door. Can't wait to see you all there. Hold your horses, K-5th. through The Barnyard Dance is coming up. It's on Friday, October 28th, and the entry price is $5. I hope you guys enjoy us for the ride. Now let's check out this video, how to use the red box. Hey Patriots, we're in front of the gym right now. You may have noticed this red mailbox. Well, what's this red box supposed to be? Good question. It's a turn in your sports packets. So do I just have my parents sign it and that's it? Nope, not exactly. This page has to be turned into your doctor and side by then. And gray sheet has to be taken to your teacher for grades and behavior. Then what? Then, that's when the red mailbox comes in. You just walk over to it and turn it in. You don't have to wait for a coach to give it to them. What if I want to try out for another sport? Do I have to re-sign the packet? Nope. Once you fill it out, you don't have to fill it out again. Wow, it's so easy. As you can see, Patriots, follow these steps and you'll be ready to go. See you at tryouts! It's that time of year for our school book fair. It will take place October 24th to October 28th and it'll also be at the Fall Festival. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet but no credit cards. Please look at the schedule to see when it's your time to go to the book fair. I can't wait for my turn. Now let's see what the weather's gonna look like today with Sophia. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a stormy 86 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. Make sure you find something to occupy your time indoors. In other weather news, something huge was unearthed. When we say huge, we're not kidding. A woolly mammoth femur bone was unearthed. If you didn't know, the woolly mammoth is an extinct animal that roamed the cold tundra over 10,000 years ago. This bone ended up being as tall as a man. Due to a powerful storm, this bone and many other pieces were exposed. This could also be described as weathering and erosion. This was definitely a monumental discovery. Now let's go to Chanel for the birthdays. Thank you, Sophia. Today's birthday girl is Raquel Morales. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Chanel. Patriots, here are your packed expectations. Or represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for Monday's Daily Challenge, congrats to Ms. Campbell and Ms. Sheriff. You two had the correct response to Monday's Daily Challenge, which was, how many Earths can fit inside the sun? The correct answer was 1.3 million. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. Two fathers and two sons are in a car. Yet, there are only three people in the car. How? Teachers, please send your answer to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!